20 years ago, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. So it's time to have a serious talk with y'all. I got my nails done today. They're so cute. I just wanted to talk to y'all about life after breast cancer because it's been 20 years this year that I am cancer free. Yay! 20 years ago, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I was 34 years old, which, you know, that's relatively young. I went ahead and got a full mastectomy, the whole entire removal of the breast because I was scared to do a lumpectomy because that just seems crazy to just remove part of it. I've gone through a lot and I just want to let you guys know that there is life after breast cancer. It's such a daunting time. It's just a big cloud over your head. I'm going to post my card up here so you can go see my story, but I've told it a few times on my platform because I just want you guys to know that anything can happen to anyone at any time. For me to be told that C word it was just devastating to me and I thought it was all over for me. I thought it was just over. I had young kids, but how I found out was my sister had it. She was 41. My aunt also had it and we all unfortunately shared the same cancer at the same time, the same name of it and everything. My mother didn't have it, so her sister did and my sister did. That's really relatively close and very rare to happen in families. So they wanted us to get tested for the BRCA gene. Unfortunately, my aunt and my sister has passed on. They had stage four and it spread throughout their body. I had stage zero, which means it was still closed like this. It hadn't opened and spread. That is definitely from early detection. Therefore, I'm here to let you know that if my sister never had it, I probably wouldn't have caught mine in time because they tell you to get tested at 40. And I was 34. What, that would have been six years of the cancer to grow. When they did the procedure to remove the breast, they did a procedure called the tram flap. The tram flap is taking a part of your stomach and transferring it and making it into the breast. It's just skin transfer. But it removes your muscle from your stomach. So that gave me a plethora of other problems throughout my life, which I dare not to complain about because the cancer is gone, but I kept getting hernias 18 times, 18 surgeries crazy right but I don't complain about it it's just it just happened the procedure that they was doing for that they don't even do it anymore because it caused a whole host of other problems excuse me if I'm going here and there with this story but I'm nervous and I kind of don't like talking about it and I kind of love talking about it too because it can help somebody so now if I was to ever uh, go through something like that again, I would have them take it from another part of my body. Like they do the back now. They take the skin from the back and mold the breast out of it and then tattoo the nipple on. Five years later, I got diagnosed the second time uh, with breast cancer on the other side. It did come back on the other side. I had that removed a different way. They just removed it and put an implant in. So I. The first one was the stomach and then the implant as well. And then the other one was just remove it and they just shoved the implant in it. I'm sorry to sound graphic, but that's what they did. So I'm saying all that to say is two different procedures done on me is making me look different. Obviously, two different ways is going to show up differently. So I was Ubering the other day and I picked up someone and... They worked at a medical equipment place, and I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. You work there. What do y'all do? She was like, oh, we, we fit people for prosthetics. We provide medical equipment. We size people that have breast cancer for special prosthetics or bras to fit them with their new life. 
I said, huh? Say what now? What? <laughs> so, I said, really? Now, well, how would I go about doing that? Because I'm not satisfied with just buying a bra out of the store because it no longer fits me. One side's funnier than the other. One's this way, one's that way. So, she said, all I would have to do is get a script from my doctor to pay for it. I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, what kind of insurance you have? I said, the best kind. Blue Cross. Blue Cross got your back. If anybody is thinking about going to Blue Cross, hey, I'm an advocate for them. Go ahead, please. So I called my primary doctor the next day. I said, what do I got to do to get a script for fitting for a situation after a mastectomy? It's like, oh, hold on a second. They looked up my name and stuff. They said, oh, okay, uh, where you wanted to go? Like what medical equipment place this was? And I told them, and um, in one minute, they faxed it over there to them. So, that's it? Uh, that's all I got to do? So, I was so ecstatic about that. Like, because you have breast cancer and you survive breast cancer, it's not over. It's never over. You have a certain paranoia. You have a certain uh, way of living now because you are grateful for your life. You think differently than other people. You watch the demise of some of your family from it, so you think differently. I don't deal with pettiness. I don't deal with drama. I don't deal with arguing. I am very black and white. I have no gray area. I have no room for disappointment in my life. I have no room for some guy spitting lines to me that he just told somebody down the street. Like, I just don't have time for it. I want to enjoy my life that I was given a second, third, fourth, fifth chance to live. And I wanna just be happy and easy going and have fun. My friends, my same two friends are there. They've been there the whole time. That's it. I mean, I just wanna enjoy my retirement that's coming in three years. I wanna enjoy doing YouTube for you guys. You guys been rocking with me for two and a half years. I appreciate it. And hey to all my new subscribers. But I thought I'd tell you this to let you know that things can get better all the time. You can work on bettering yourself. You can work on a lot of things. Be a nice person and see what life throws back at you. So I'm going to take you guys on a journey with me to get fitted. For it. I'm sorry guys if you watching this video I don't have nothing to do with you sorry but you do have women in your family you do have women around you and uh, breast cancer is a serious thing and is ongoing whether you get treatments now or you get treatments in the future or whatever it just doesn't end I always have a paranoia is it gonna come back is it gonna come back in another way is it gonna show up later that's the natural human brain. I don't mean to think about it. I don't mean to worry about it. I pray to God about my health and I just keep it moving. But your internal feelings and, and your surroundings, everything has to do with your health. I think eating, sleeping, your situations in life, how you deal with things and what's going on around you has all got to do with your health in the end you run in the streets you drinking smoking everything partying not sleeping and all this kind of stuff all of it catches up with you sooner or later only a few get to get away with like oh my god this person does this that the third and eat like this I am so happy to tell y'all that uh, God has given me a lot of chances and I just want y'all to know that I'm grateful for them and we're going to keep on moving and we're going to get fitted for this bra. I don't even know what it means. I feel weird talking about this, but somebody out here should know that a diagnosis does not make you. It's just a part of your journey in life. I try not to look like what I've been through. I'm just thankful that all those 20 plus surgeries I've had in my entire life 
I woke up from each one of them. I woke up every time from the anesthesiologist putting that stuff in my arm. I woke up every time. So I'm very grateful and I'm grateful to y'all. So come on this journey. I know you probably haven't seen this kind of video before, but I don't know if I need a prosthetic to make one side like prettier or even or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> but I thought I'd share it with you. It's a part of my life and that's what I do. I show my vlog my life. So thank you guys for sticking around this long. Give me a little like and a little heart or something, like a pink heart in the comments. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.